remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? As the world mourned Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna, who was killed along with seven other people in a helicopter crash on Sunday, a couple of reporters showed their natural naked asses. Let's start with MSNBC reporter Allison Morris. She somehow said she mixed up the words Los Angeles Lakers with Los Angeles niggers. After the segment, and she realized that she had messed up, she issued one of the most bizarre and unbelievable apologies ever. She said, earlier today, while reporting on the tragic news of Kobe Bryant's passing, I unfortunately stuttered on air combining the names of the Knicks and the Lakers to say Nakers. <laughs> Please know I did not and would never use a racist term. I apologize for the confusion this caused. <laughs> Man, I don't know who they use for PR uh, support, but they need to try somebody else. Here's the really, really trip part about it. When we know clearly that she used the N word. We've heard it a billion times. We've heard it all our lives. And so has she. So we know what the word sounds like. We know without any type of doubt what the N-word sounds like. She knows because she uses the N-word. She said it way too clearly. See, I'm going to tell you what happened. She typically uses that set of words, that phrase to refer to the Lakers because as everyone knows, the majority of the Lakers players have been black for many, many years. So that's the inside joke with her and her people. They call the Los Angeles Lakers the Los Angeles niggas in private. Just the same way as a number of white reporters have oftentimes slipped up live on air and called Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther Coon Jr. Slipped up many times. Now, why is it that only white reporters make these type of slip-ups? Because these particular white reporters are racist. And this is what they do in private. So she's probably said it so many times. She messed around and said it live. And now she's trying to insult our intelligence by saying she meant to say Lakers, but she said Nakers. First of all, Nakers don't sound nothing like niggers, which is what came out of her mouth. Absolutely astonishing. Let's move on to clown number two. Washington Post struggling journalist Felicia Somnes. This idiot went on Twitter and basically called Kobe Bryant a rapist not even a good hour after it was announced that he was deceased. She posted a link to a 2016 Daily Beast article detailing allegations of rape against him in 2003 with the caption Kobe Bryant's disturbing rape case the DNA evidence the accuser's story and the half confession like she doing some type of 2020 special or some shit whack 
Let me ask y'all something. What do you think was the purpose of that post? Why was it so necessary? She couldn't wait 24 hours. Just had to do it. Why? Why would she do that? For the same reason Allison Morris used the N-word while reporting his death because she's a low-down piece of manure, dipped in dumpster juice. Come on, family. The man just died. She couldn't wait. She had a problem with him. She couldn't wait. What kind of despicable person would post something like that, say something like that, when you have a wife and children grieving? a mother and father grieving, family members and friends, fans all over the world grieving the loss of a good man, a good dude. I can see maybe if it was somebody like them, you know, Roger Ailes, but Kobe? Nah, that ain't cool. Felicia Sumnez, Allison Morris, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What, what, what the ladies talking about?